Hey guys, so our third uh, low intensity method is our high resistance interval training. So what this is, is we are gonna take something that is either relatively heavy or on a high gear or high resistance, and then we're gonna do some short time distance uh, intervals. And what this is gonna do is improve the endurance of our fast twitch fibers and our high threshold fibers, which means that we can do more of the fast twitch or the high threshold methods a lot more often. But what this is also gonna do is help to recover those fast twitch and high threshold fibers as well. So for example, if you had a heavy day before, um, say you're doing heavy squats or anything that's like a heavy workout, say on the legs, this is a really good method to help recover those fibers, but also increase the endurance of them at the same time. So how it works is you're gonna take something heavy, like a sled, load that up so that you can only just move it so that it's quite a high resistance, or you can use something like a spin bike on a really hard gear, so that you're ticking over at about 30 RPM, which is a really low RPM, but you're able to maintain that for five to 10 seconds. If you don't have any access to tools, um, like a sled or a bike, you can do lunges or reverse walking up a hill, um, and that will give you a similar effect. Cool, so I'm just gonna get Tyler to demo method. So she's gonna push this sled up, and then she's gonna pull it back, and we're looking for around 10 seconds of work time. Cool, so you'll notice here that it's quite hard to push. Yeah. I'd probably add just a touch more weight to this for Tyler. Pretty strong, but she's driving nice and hard, driving through those legs, and then she's gonna grab those handles and reverse lead back. Cool, and this is gonna be very heavy, so it's gonna be at a nice, moderate pace, and we're just trying to keep tension on those legs the whole time. A Couple of things she could do is really straighten those legs, stand up nice and tall, so that she's getting full range of motion through each stride, so nice big long strides keeping tension and a high resistance on those fibers the whole time. So what you would do here is you'd rest for 60 seconds and then you do anywhere between five to 10 sets of this method.